Mojang just released the new Has Item Filter for Commands in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. With this filter comes five variables. The item variable, data variable, quantity variable, location variable, and slot variable. Today I'm going to be breaking down all of it. But first, according to my YouTube analytics, no one has ever subscribed to this channel, so if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that sub button. Now back to the video. Starting with the item variable. We are going to go over simple commands that will show you how these variables work. So the first command is effect at a has item equals item equals totem strength one one true. So basically what this item is doing when I turn this command block on is it will affect me with strength if I have a totem in my inventory at all. This can be in any slot 0 through 26, any hotbar slot 0 through 8, any armor slot, and my offhand. So this can be literally anywhere in my inventory. If it is in my inventory at all, then I will be affected with strength. The next variable is the data variable. This variable will basically just give you the effect if you have a data value on the item that matches. So this command is effect at a has item equals item equals totem data equals zero speed one one true. Basically what this command is doing is if I have a totem in my inventory like I went over before and it has the data of zero then it will give me speed um, if those conditions are met. The next variable is the quantity variable. So in this command, effect at a has item, item equals totem, data equals zero, quantity equals one, regeneration one one true. This is um, a true statement because I have the totem. Now quantity is a little bit more interesting because if the quantity is can be above one, then you can put one dot dot and that will be if you have one or more totems in your inventory, then it will work. You could do something like one dot dot five, and then if you have anywhere from one to five totems, it will work. If you have six totems, it will not work. So you can choose an exact amount, or you can choose a starting amount and above, or you could do dot dot five, and that would make it so that if you have less than five totems, it will work. So that's basically how this works. The next variable is the location variable. Basically with this variable, you can decide the location of the item inside your inventory. So you have many different options ranging from slot.hotbar to slot.inventory to slot.armor um, with armor having head, feet, legs, and chest and many more options. You could do slot.weapon.mainhand, slot.weapon.offhand, and all of these different slots will allow you to put the item inside that slot. Um, because the totem is in my hotbar, then when I flick this lever, this will give me resistance because I do have a totem in my hotbar. Now, lastly is the slot variable. Now, the reason I saved this variable for last is because it directly correlates to the location. So, effect at a has item equals item equals totem, data equals zero, quantity equals one, location equals slot.hotbar, slot equals eight, jump boost one one true. So, if all of these conditions are met when I flick this lever, it will give me jump boost. So what is slot actually doing? So slot is looking at the location. And if the location has slot values available, that being inventory slot.inventory or slot.hotbar, then it will see, is it in this slot? If so, then yes, it works. You do not need slot for location to work. You can have location on its own, but if you would like to specify which slot in your inventory or which slot in your hotbar the totem has to be in, then this is what you would use. So slot equals eight is the ninth hotbar slot because slots go from zero to eight, just like inventory goes from zero to 26, even though there's 27 inventory spaces. 
that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time